back to stylish Nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish Nigeria youtube channel okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an a-line wrap yes it is a wrap skirt an a-line wrap skirt or an a-line crossing skirt with ruffles at the down so that's so you could see the picture up there so that's what we're going to be learning how to cut and sew today it is a very simple project even as a beginner you can actually pull this off and this gets what i'm going to be doing now like the picture you could see that it is a short uh, skirt you can make it into a long skirt you can make it into a midi skirt so just the concept so that's what we're going to be learning today if you are new to stylish Nigeria youtube channel if you have not subscribed i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button Please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel and also hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all at Stylish Nigeria. And then if you want to register for our online class, so you can see my number scrolling through the screen, you can send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the details of the classes that we have available. We have a new class coming up, which is the Padded Igbo Madame Blouse class. So you can, if you want to register for that class, registration is still ongoing. You can send me a message and then our normal online classes for each month. You can see the numbers. Just send me a message and then I'll give you the details on WhatsApp. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to be making use of about one and a half yard of fabric for this. Like I said, I'm making a mini wall. So the first thing we're going to draft on our pattern paper because it is a cross and skirt so i don't want to cut my fabric because you need to cut out and replace so from to make an a-line skirt this is a very simple process all you are going to do is you just fold your okay so you fold your fabric in an a-line form and then the first thing we're going to do now we're going to mark our start up line so i'm just going to take those points like this this point is going to be my start up line so the next thing you apply all of your skirt your normal skirt measurement so my hip line i'm using nine inches and then the full length of my skirt is 21 inches so these are just like the two points that i need so for the hip part you know it's not a tight skirt so i'm going to be adding it so for my hip the hip for the waist measurement okay we're going to start sorry this is the waist point. So we're going to be adding our waist measurement. So the measurement that we need that will be fitted is the waist measurement. So the waist is 28 inches. So when you divide 28 into, into 4, you are going to have 7. You divide your measurement, your waist measurement into 4. So 20, 28, you divide into 4, you have 7. That's 28, you add it here. So I'm just going to add one inch for ease because for just teaching allowance because I don't need that part to be tight and to be loose, it, it has to be tight. So for the hip line point, so for the hip, so my hip is 36. So I'll mark my 36. So I'm going to add about four inches to it just to give me so from this point, I'm going to mark from here to here. So you can add three inches, depends on how big you want it to be. But mine, I, I'm adding four inches. My paper is not enough. I'm adding two here, but when I'm transferring to my fabric, I'll add another two. So that is why it is like this. So for this down, you are going to determine how wide the down of your skirt, how wide you want it to be. So I'm going to use for two. That's what I have here. It is a very simple skirt, very simple. So you see, that is just our skirt. So we're going to cut it out right now. So the next thing we're going to mark the length. So you need to mark it round so it is equal. So 
So this is what, so you see the shape of our skirt. So you see, it is looking like what she has on there. So this is the shape. So this now, we're going to, I'm going to cut, use this to cut out the back of the skirt before I do my alteration on the, on this front piece. So I've cut out the back piece. So for the back, you add your zipper allowance. So this is my zipper point. So I'm going to keep it on the side. So now we're going to use this now to cut out the front. So for the front, you know it is a wrap skirt. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my pattern curve like this, and then I'm going to come to this top part. I'm going to make a curve like this into this point. So I'm going to use dotted lines first. So I'm just going to come like this. So you can determine how how much curveness you want, if I will use that word, for your skirt. So mine is just a simple process. So this is what I want. So the other part I'm going to cut out. It is a very simple, it is a simple skirt. So with this, I'm going to cut out, I'm going to place this on my fabric now, cut out two pieces because they're going to lap on top of each other. Okay, so I finished cutting the, the front piece, so I cut out two pieces. So I'm going to show you now how we're going to stitch it. So this is the back piece, so you put, lap them on top of the allowance part like this. So this one is going to come like this. This is one piece from the front. And then this is the second piece, like this. So you can see our skirt is already wrapped and crossed nicely. So the next thing I'm going to go and do now, I'm going to go and join the sides. So I'll join them on the side. So I'll join this side now, this one to this side, and then I'll join this to this side. Because I need all of them joined together so I'll be able to add my ruffles around it. So I'll take it to my machine now, join here, this side, and then I'll join this side and then I'll fix my zipper and join this center one also that's the zipper allowance I'll fix the zipper and join it together you can decide not to fix the zipper yet you can just stitch it down so you have a straight piece so once we have a straight piece I'll come back and show you and then how to form our ruffles around it so I'll go ahead and do that right now okay so you can see I finished joining my pieces together so you can see how it is looking well curved out so any extra edges that you have just take out your scissors and then you trim everything out so you can see so in fixing the ruffles i'm going to explain to you how to fix the ruffles that's the next thing we're going to do so for this kind of skirt if you want to line it you are going to cut the the lining just the same way you cut this i've cut the actual fabric and then join them together and then you turn it all out so that is for that so for the ruffle so i've made out straps so i just cut out long straps of fabric very long so i joined them i actually did not measure i joined them together so i'm trying to to trim them just straight of about three inches so i actually use three inches to cut them out so I'm going to explain to you how to join them. So the first one, so mine, I'm, the picture that I showed you earlier is actually three layers I was done, but mine, I'm going to do two layers. So the first one, I'm going to fix the first um, ruffles. I'm going to fix it here like this on the edge of my, of my skirt. So I'm going to fix it just around, just to lock, like lock. The edges so it depends on how much fullness you want that is what we determine how much pleats you want that you will add to it so i just keep just pleats 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 around to the end so that's for the first one then the second one i'm going to use two inches gap i'm going to be stitching it on top so i'm going to take like two inches here that's from the first one you know the first one so that three inches that i'm adding is going to after sewing is going to reduce to like two inches so that will add to the length of the skirt so you should put that into consideration it will increase the length of your skirt 
So you can decide to take out that two inches, extra two inches from the length, the original length of the skirt. But if you don't mind, you can still leave it. So I'll mark two inches like this. I'll mark it around on my on the top of my fabric. So I'm going to, so the second one, I'm going to stitch it on top. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my fabric like this and then I'm going to stitch. So after stitching the first one, the second one, I'm going to stitch it like this on top like this. So I'll use the right side facing the right side. I'll stitch. So after everything, I'll bring it down and then iron it. So I'll go ahead and go and stitch it around and then come back and show you how it will look like. So you just split it around. So these are all of my ruffles. Okay, so you could see I finished I finish sewing. So I finished joining it. So if it's the upper one, if you feel it's a little bit too long, you can decide to just trim a little bit. So these edges, I'm going to lock them. So I'm going to lock the edges. So the first one I've locked. My first ruffle, I've locked it already. So the second one, I'm going to lock it. So if you want to add more ruffles, all you are going to do is just follow the same process. You create like a one and a half inch or two inches, depends on how big. And then you place it around like this to the other side. So it depends on the numbers of layers that you want to add. So at the end of the day, I'm going to fold my skirt now. So you see, it's going to come like this. So these are my edges. So you bring this part like this and then this comes this comes like this so you can see how it is looking so it depends on how big so this inside part i'm going to trim them off so i'll, I'll just leave them first so it depends on how it depends on how much width you want for your skirt so you can see that it's looking like what we have on the picture and then how much fullness you want so the next thing what the only thing that is remaining now is just for me to add a band a waistband so this skirt actually does not have a dart so it is a dartless skirt so you just add your band that's your waistband on your skirt so once you add your waistband to it so that's the end of your skirt so you can see it is looking beautiful Okay, so at the end of the day, so you could see how my skirt is looking like. So the only thing that is remaining is just for me to add a band to it. So all you are going to do is for you to, I just pinned it on the mannequin. All you are going to do is for you to take this part like this. So this is the side seam. And then this part, you just take it to the side seam. And then you, 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 you stitch it down. That you put a notch just to, to stitch it down. And then this other one comes to the other side seam. So once you, you get it down, you are just going to use a running stitch just to stitch it down. And then you fix your band around it and then open from the back. So that is how the skirt is. So you can see how it is looking. And then you fix your zipper at the back of the skirt. So I'm just trying to... The, the mannequin's waist is a little bit smaller than the measurement that I used. So at the end of this, that's how it's going to look like. So you can decide this kind of skirt if you don't want to even cover it up with a band. You can decide to just put a straight band, like a rope around it, and then stay tight and not tight to the back. Then it will be like a wrapper skirt. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did.